Hey, we're back. Um, and we're starting uh, here because I forgot to do this. You can get another chest now that you have Blazaga by putting all of these fires out again. Assuming they hit. <laughs> so we're going to do that before we actually get on with the business of the rest of uh, what we're doing today. That should do it. There should be a chest right here for a Shiva belt. Which I don't think will be an update to anyone. I also noticed this. I don't know. Oh, Thori Calcum. I didn't really need that anymore, but great. All right. Now on with what we were actually doing today. Also, real quick, I took a pit stop to Traverse Town, and I wonder what other blueprints Geppetto has for us. Not that it matters. We've killed a lot of Heartless since we last talked to him. And it, again, it doesn't matter. We're not going to make any of these, but... May as well get them, I guess, you know? Why not? I don't know what the last one he gives me is, so... Okay, cool. Just, just three more, and you don't... I haven't entered and exited your building 30 times. Anyway, on to actually what we are going to do for this one. All right, if you haven't figured it out, today we're tackling the super bosses. So we're here in Neverland, and remember how I was like, oh, Tinkerbell's the way to get to the clock tower from the ship? Uh, kind of. If you go to the clock tower with Tinkerbell and Peter here, This is Phantom. He's a boss. Um, and I don't think he's in... No, he's not there yet. The first thing he does is cast Doom on one of your... Uh, on one of your party members. And what that basically means is... Uh, What that means is, if the timer goes down, they will die. Thank you for the heal. I'm gonna heal myself too. Um, now I should I should also note this orb. You'll, you'll notice I'm using only certain attacks on him, and I can't hurt him otherwise. Um, that orb he has shows off what uh, attacks he can use, or what what attacks damage him. Um, red is fire. Uh, blue is blizzard. Uh, thunder is yellow. White is physical attacks. Uh, you'll notice I, I gave Donald and Goofy on, or Donald and Peter only ethers because you're using a lot of uh, MP in this one. And because he only he only takes damage from his uh, attacking his ball there, and you only get that with magic attacks, and then the odd couple strikes of a, uh... The odd couple strikes of a white ball. Um, unfortunately... Oh, Peter's dead. I didn't stop the timer again. And Peter's out for the whole thing, and I can't stop it again until... Oh, are you gonna cast it on me? Yeah, you are casting it on me. I didn't know you could cast it on me. Oh, no, that's a different attack. But yeah, you can only damage Phantom with magic, so having items that, uh... I'd like to use stop on this clock, thank you. It's just the time was, or the, the distance was bad. Now we're, now we're stuck without Peter, because I didn't stop the clock again when I started chiming. 
Yeah, we've only gotten, I think, one health bar down from him. Because we can only hit him a very limited amount of time, a very limited number of ways. I do like that that stayed white that time, though. Try to keep some kind of an eye on the clock, too. Because if it starts moving again, I'm going to lose Donald, too, and I don't really want that. Oop, I didn't mean to stop. <laughs> I, My reflexes for thunder were there. I'm close to throwing a high potion for myself. Ouch. Why can't... There we go. I was very confused as to why I couldn't thunder go there. Oh, and the timer is going again. I'm probably going to lose Donald. Oh, and this is going to hurt. Well, thanks for the arrow, guy. Aha, this is... Some hits. Cool. Timer's still going... Or still frozen. I mean, I always talk about how uh, allies aren't very helpful. And they aren't, but it's nice to have someone throwing items at you or something, you know? I also bought, like, the max number of ethers when I was in Traverse Town. Uh, he hits hard, obviously, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> um... Uh, something I didn't do, but would have probably been a good idea to do, uh, MP Rage and MP or MP Haste or both on Sora would be nice. Oh, I'm about to lose Donald because I couldn't lock onto the right clock and then did that way too late. I don't know why I'm still throwing ethers. I think I'm waiting on the on throwing the elixir until I'm actually like damaged to. But now it's just me. And when he does that, so so there's that attack he used that did like a ton of damage. Well, I mean, he does a, a ton of damage anyway, but there was that one attack that like was a an orb that basically came up to me and did a ton of damage. Um, don't hit me again. Okay. And that orb that does a ton of damage Fire. is like a five hit kill or five hit Fire. attack and it's does a ton of damage Heal. and you can dodge it by just tucking around the corner of the clock tower, which is what I try to do when I see him rush up to the clock face. See ya. Deep oh, not, not deep freeze. I could have hit again. Like when he does that, I like to tuck around because he'll throw his orb of doom into the wall and it won't do any damage. Oh, and then I'll miss Deep Freeze or Blizzard. Oh, and now I have doom on me. So I got to make sure I stop in this clock. Although I'll be honest, I will notice more because it'll be on me, and I'll notice when the timer is going down. Um, but I might honestly just refresh it more anyway, because I don't want to lose when I'm this close. He's on his last health bar. I think two more cycles will do it. If I can hit him, that is. Two more cycles will do it. Oh, come on. That should have hit. Do I have another ether? I do. I'm going to have to throw that elixir soon. Come on. Just hit the freaking... Hit the freaking phantom. Okay, cool. You changed it. I've had a lot better time 
with Blizzard and Thunder. Hopefully I should be able to do it. One more cycle should finish him. Or not. I guess one more cycle after that. I'm gonna freeze a clock again just to make sure. And I'm maxed I'm maxed out MP wise now, so I should be fine. Cool. There we go. Level up from Sora and Donald. And that is Phantom. And defeating Phantom gets a Stopka. Which, what are we still mid? Are we all good? We're all good out. <laughs> Faraga, Blizzaga, Thundaga, Kiraga, Graviga, Stopka, and Aeroga. Um, now that we can, I'm taking all of these back because you didn't do anything with them, Peter. And Donald, you're out, of course. Okay. So that's Phantom. That's stop number one. I'll meet you at Superboss number two. Or at least the area right before Superboss number two. Maybe I'll open one of these doors actually first. Assuming I can still do that. Which one of these is the openable? None of them look openable. Whatever. Okay. Moving on. All right, next up, we are in Aladdin's house in Agrabah. And there is a freaking out carpet. Let's uh, follow him. Or ride on him. We're not really following him. Hi there! This is Kurt Zisa. Um, named after a guy... Oh, I messed up. Uh, named after a guy from... New York, I think? Who won a contest to be have his name in the game. Um, first thing he did was put silence on us, and uh, so we can't use any spells right now. Uh, but after defeating his orbs, his hand orbs, um, you don't have to worry about that anymore. So now I can use uh, magic. Uh, and now his head is the damage on the part. Um, I think, yeah, basically... This this super boss is the best for my brute force strategy, so I'm kind of just working with that. Um, he's kind of got three phases. Phase number one was silence. This is phase number three. Phase two is when his uh, head was sticking out. Um, I don't off the top of my head remember how to deal with this one. I think it's just a lot of dodging for the moment. Oh, I gotta deal in magic. That's the whole thing. So you can hurt this, uh, the shield with magic. And that's how you have to damage the shield. And once the shield's down, you can do, like, actual damage. Thing is, he moves around pretty fast. But thank you, Donald, for hitting that. The best way to do, ma or do damage to it is Blizzaga. It deals the most if you can hit all of the snowflakes. If you can hit him with all the snowflakes. Um, but it's not. Ouch. Thank you. Uh, but it's still it's still kind of you're chipping it down. And you're trying to trying to mitigate whatever damage you can. Yeah, and then when he goes down, it's back to his phase two. And you can just pound on him and deal a bunch of damage. I'm sure Ragnarok would be. Yeah, let's do it. I did a pretty good amount. I don't ever use limits. <laughs> Although I don't think Ragnarok will do anything to the shield. Also, he doesn't have a shield on anymore. Oh, oh, he silenced again. That's what's going on. Okay, cool, it hit. 
and I'm doing terribly here. And I don't have magic to heal with, so I better take these down quick. And Donald Goof, you're down. I think I can, if I was better timing my blocks, I could definitely block some of this stuff. Oh, maybe not. Ooh. I had to throw an elixir. Oh, I lost. Okay. Uh, maybe I should put some more healing items on myself. Round two. Got more healing items on. Oh, I forgot to put Aroga on, though. Because you can get an Aroga off immediately if uh, you're quick about it. Oh, I got it. Great. And that'll help mitigate some of this damage while you're trying to take out his silent spheres. And actually, I'm doing a lot better at taking out his silent spheres now. And I got an elixir. I picked up an elixir from him. Great. And now we just pound on his face. So yeah. Oh wow, we're doing so much more damage this time. Can I one cycle him? Can I one cycle a super? Nope, I can't one cycle a super boss. Is he gonna shield? He's shielding. I tried to one cycle a super boss. It didn't work. <laughs> Came pretty dang close though. Ouch. Like he's real low on damage. Or on uh, health. High on damage. Low on health. Ouch. But is if we can break this shield, we should be able to just finish it. I wish I could give commands to Donald to cast some spells. But he's just not. One more. Cool. This should do it. I don't see how it wouldn't. There we go. Kurt Zisa is down. Thank you, Carpet. And for defeating him, we get Zantetsuken and Ansem's Report 11. And we get a trophy. Um, what does Zantetsuken do? Cool. Gonna go ahead and put that on. And that's that. That's Agraba. Let's uh, move on to the next uh, super boss area. All right, we are here in the castle chapel of Hollow Bastion, and you'll notice there's this darkness kind of teeming over here. If we walk into it, And this super boss has the most connection to the rest of the series. This is a lot. Who are you? What does that mean? I am Sam. Of who? What's that supposed to mean? 
Yikes. What? This all makes a little more sense if you play the rest of the games. This is the unknown. If you put, like I said, if you play the other games, you'll notice some some familiar things about this character. Um, I'm going ahead with my brute force to start, and then if that doesn't work, we'll uh, check out some different uh, strategies. But we've already gotten through 300 of his hell. And Donald's got actually the right idea by throwing a uh, gravi gravity at him because he can kind of gravity kind of stuns him if I'm correct. That's why I have it on my uh, quick select. But we're OK. He hits hard. That shield, that reflect is not uh, great. But oh, he's caught me. Uh, He'll do this thing where, all, as you can tell, all of my commands are shock or release. And uh, yeah, if you hit shock, you get hurt. If you release, you're released. Um, but otherwise, he's just throwing a ton of crap at you. Mitigate the damage or take it. Or mitigate, mitigate the damage or dodge it and just pound on him. That's I mean, that's generally my strategy anyway. In like in Kingdom Hearts anyway. <laughs> And with varying results. And we seem to be doing all right so far, though. Uh, I'd like to do this. Come on. I would just like you to go down. He's very acrobatic. This uh, unknown. I think he's just labeled in the uh, journal as question mark, but everyone calls him the unknown. That's like his general. What he's generally known as, or this, what this boss fight is itself is generally known as in uh, the fandom. Ah, someone heal me. Oh, I died. Right before I was healed. I don't think I don't think I can cast when I'm uh when I'm in that shock release thing. Some some of the strategies I've seen have had just like mash mash X until you do it, because shock doesn't do a ton of damage. But sometimes it's not advised. And I was trying to be a little more strategic about it, but I guess mashing X is really what I've gotta do. I'm gonna toss an elixir. You take too much damage. I should be using Aroga again. I'm glad it went through that time. And he's teleporting now. I think we're about caught up to where his health was, so this is probably where I'll cut back in. Uh, and he keeps catching me. Uh, come on, just give me a release. There we go. Ouch. Come on. We get, we're almost there. We're doing good. Just go down. Oh, boy. Lasers. Lasers are fun. I guess. In some regards. 
I like lasers when I'm shooting them. I don't like lasers, lasers when they're being shot at me. All right, he's, we're down to his last health bar. Tinkerbell's really helpful. I can't believe I forgot to summon her the first time. And also get some more arrow up. If we can just power through this and get him, then we've got it. But he doesn't like to be getting hit right now. That's not words. Those aren't good words. Can I damage him? Nope, I can't. I was wondering if I could damage him when he was lasering, but I cannot. Oh, I, also, I also keep forgetting Arrow gives a 2 MP move. I might have to throw that second elixir I have. It'd be nice if Donald gave me an arrow gun, though. Every once in a blue moon. Although he's out of uh, MP right now. Oh, he's got one. And we're almost there. Yes, there we go. And we've defeated the unknown. Yikes, we did nothing to him. Uh? What are you talking about? Oh! He... what? That... is just Namura talking to the fan base. It is beyond your comprehension for now. <laughs> Even more references to who this person actually is. We get an EXP necklace and Anson's Report 13, which is a bonus Anson's Report that wasn't in the original uh, original game. But yeah, that's the unknown, and that's all of the super bosses that are outside of the Colosseum. So now we're gonna go back to the Colosseum. I'll meet you guys over there. <laughs>